Right, um, reason to the little video that I did about um, why I'd been away, I just wanted to do one on um, on prepping, uh, just, a, just a little mention on something to do with prepping. Uh, I think most people associate prepping to do with um, doomsday preppers and that's not what prepping is all about. Being prepared for incidents are of any kind and um, I've always been reasonably uh, in that direction prepared even before it be started to become a big thing and um, about three weeks ago um, my car which has been out of the garage and more or less drained all my resources um, the fan belt broke on it on the way home and it was coming from here and we'd left at seven, 7 in the evening on a, what was a really freezing cold night and the box that I would normally carry in the back with all my tools and safety gear um, what, uh, was, was a dome because I'd taken it out to uh, keep the weight down at, uh, when I was at the garage. Anyway, um, like I said, on the way home um, this incident occurred the fan bell broke and it was actually 5th, 5th of November it was bonfire night and uh, I was brought down by the roadside and they said that the uh, the RAC Breakfast Town uh, fellow would be an hour away uh, I was parked in a very awkward spot and um, so I didn't sit in the car I, um, I put the flashers on, they had my, my fleece and this lightweight uh, oh, um, thermal jumper. However, the RAC fella took more like an hour and a half for a bit longer to get to me because he was coming from the other side of Manchester, which it was busy that night. And uh, I hadn't realised how cold I was getting. So by the point that uh, he'd reached me and then uh, by the time we'd managed to do something with the car and get it home again um, it was quite a long period of time and so um, I would normally have had extra gear in, in the car to deal with the situation especially freezing cold situations and I hadn't because I'd taken this box out and I'd forgotten to put any any stuff in. I wasn't prepared. Um, by the time I'd got back again, um, I'd actually uh, started to uh, lose more heat than I thought. And when I got home, I started to warm up. Um, I was actually shaking all over and started to feel really uh, unwell. And, um, I actually had to put extra clothing on and, and you know go to bed and warm up and it, to me it just goes to show that um, we need to be thinking about things a bit more than you would normally do. Um, if I hadn't been to the club that night and I had this on uh, and, and we are in inside huts with burners on so I don't normally need a little bit more clothing than this. If I'd have been out driving somewhere, I'd have probably gone out in a t-shirt and my waistcoat because the car keeps you warm. And without my toolbox in the back, with all the extra bits in, I'd have become a lot worse in the situation I was in then. So, um, when you think about prepping, it's not just about uh, doomsday prepping or preparing for the end of the world. It's being prepared for the smallest situations so that um, well, you don't get stuck in such a situation as I was in, which was a little bit silly, really. Um, so and even though I, I, I still haven't put my toolbox back in the car yet uh, with all my bits and pieces and uh, my prep, some of my prep devices, I do now throw extra clothing in the back or a, and a blanket just to make sure that if I get in such a situation again, um, that um, I don't, don't end up on the wrong side of um, you know being well. Uh, so it's so much to think about for the people who who 
aren't on the uh, prepping side of um, uh, people who are sub to me to start thinking about that uh, little bit extra that you need when you go out. Prepping isn't just about end of the world and doomsday, it's about being prepared for the smallest situations, like in this case, breaking down on a freezing cold night and not having adequate clothing. Uh, couldn't run the engine because it was the fan belt. Um, and so, hello! Alright, it's other police aeroplane flying over. Um, so I'll just leave you with that one, but uh, being prepared, prepping, is a little bit more than end of the world scenarios. Um, it can come into um, your life a little bit more than, than what you expect. Um, same with incidents on the road, somebody gets injured. If you have that extra special um, first aid box in, in your car, you might be able to help somebody who's in a serious situation. Anyway, I'll leave you with that one for now and uh, catch you later. Bye for now.